student and all the English teacher from Patimuan Senior High School. Thanks for all of you that you have joined in this Zoom meeting live. And then firstly, before we start our great English learning today with Akrod, I want to say welcome to join in this Zoom meeting for both of our school supervisors. They are Mr. Yulianto Harsono and Mr. Sasatyo. And then the second, I want to say thank you to Pak Rod for being willing to teach us how to be fluent in English. Uh, okay, Pak Rod, this is your turn to introduce shortly yourself to all the participants in this Zoom meeting. Good morning, uh, Tungu Benyati, and thank you to all the teachers who are with you, supporting you, and thank you to all the students who are present today. I would like to first thank Ibo Benyati for arranging this meeting today, this new meeting, um, and all that she has done for other schools in the area. And then for 20 years, I have been a teacher universities in Indonesia like Gajamada in Jogja, like uh, for example Trisakti in Grogol, another one is the University of Indonesia in, in, in Depo in Jakarta and also many high schools I've taught in as well uh, like Sekolah Islam is another one I've taught at. So I've taught at universities and schools in Indonesia but I've also taught direct to companies and direct to students like yourselves. So um, I'm very, 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 very busy, as you can as you can see. The driver for me, I love what I do. I absolutely love uh, do what I do. I love Indonesia. I've been living here for over 20 years now. I love Indonesia. I love the country. I love the people. I think Indonesians are the most friendly, warm and friendly people in, on, on planet Earth. And you are you are Indonesian. And I'm I'm actually Indonesian in a way. I regard myself as Indonesian. I live here, my family's here, my future is here. So I want to thank all of you for welcoming me and hand it back over to Ibu Biati. Thank you. That's good. Can you hear my sound? Okay. I can yeah, hear thank you, Pagod. You're welcome. Sama Sama. Yeah. yeah, thank you for your uh, introduction. And then the next turn is for Mr. Harry, Bu Ida and Bu Siti to manage this class. I mean the class of 12 sign one for getting the great English learning for from Mr. Rod this morning. Please, one of you, Bu Ija or Pak Mr. Harry or Bu Siti, please, this is your turn. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you for Mr. Rod coming to our school, Semanek Bisaru Patiman. I'm very happy to meet with the native speaker. Uh, I have one present to Mr. Rod. In this occasion, would you like to give some steps, some suggestions, some tip or to our children here in improving English skill in order to be better? In the reality, our handsome students and beautiful students interested in studying English in the classroom, but they still have difficulties in studying English. I often find out the time. Uh, I'm sorry. I often find out the limit score of English test. That score of English is not good. What is your suggestion to improve their English better to better for the next time? I think that is all, Mr. Rod, as the native speaker. Thank you very much for your suggestion, your explanation. Once again, thank you very much for Mr. Rod and Mr. 
to Makassi, to Makassi Park, Park Harry. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much, and thank you for the question. Can everybody hear me? Yes, yes or no? Yes, everybody here. Put your thumbs up if you can hear everybody. Yes. Put your, students, put your thumb up if you can hear. Can you put your thumb up if you can hear? Do this if you can hear me. If you can hear. Uh, okay, they can. All right, good. So, for students to improve their English score and to improve their English, I think the first thing is, is you cannot learn English. You cannot become fluent in any language or in English if you only rely on one, two or three lessons a week. It's not enough. If you diet, you diet every day. If you go bodybuilding in Oloraga, you do it regularly, right? If you want to prepare for a marathon to go running, you do it regularly. So with English, to learn English, you have to practice Setya Pauri. You have to practice every day. Maybe some days you're busy, so only 10 minutes. That's okay. Supporting me is okay. But at least a little bit Setya Pauri. We say in English, if you don't use it, you lose it. I repeat that. If you don't use it, you lose it. Can you imagine sitting in a chair all your life, never walking, never running? Your body would die because it's not active. You have to use your body. Your body gets stronger when you use your body. Your brain gets better when you use it. So likewise, your English will improve when you use it every day. Set up hurry. You have to use it every day. So you may say, oh, but who do I practice English with? Very good question. Who do I practice English with? Well, what I can suggest is the following. First of all, your best friend, especially if your girl is the mirror. You know the mirror in the bathroom? You know the mirror? In the morning, you put your makeup on, you do your hair, the mirror in the bathroom, stand in front of the mirror and try to practice the English you know. Guess what? The mirror doesn't lie. Tita Pohong. The mirror will tell you, you look at the mirror, the mirror will tell you exactly what you look like when you're speaking. You learn a lot from a mirror. So even five minutes a day, when you're brushing your teeth, when you put it, if you're a girl, putting your makeup, your, your lipstick on, your powder, right? I'm sure some of you don't put much makeup on because you're already beautiful. But I'm saying if you're in the bathroom, in front of the mirror, spend five or 10 minutes talking to the mirror. And here's the second thing, right? If you're malo, if you're shy, talk to somebody, talk to the cat, the kuching. Kuching nga apa apa. The kuching doesn't care. The cat doesn't care. Talk to the cat. The cat won't argue. The cat nga um, cat and mengwe bikirin doesn't care, right? The cat. Talk to the cat. Or talk to talk to little baby. Little baby doesn't care. You understand what I'm saying here? Don't make excuse that you're shy. Don't make excuse to my lord. Find someone or something like a little animal you can talk to. Just practice your English with. All right, number three. Try with your friend. Just practice with your friend a few words. Number four. This is very important now. In Indonesia, I think like um, TV, was it Trans TV? Trans TV, TV station, Trans TV. You can watch English movie, right? Sometimes for free, right? Sometimes English movie or look for movies. Or if you have a, um, a phone, go to a YouTube, YouTube channel. And there's many thousands and thousands of YouTube channels you can watch. And here's a tip. When you watch a video or watch a podcast, watch it for five seconds, stop, pause, and repeat what they say. So if you listen to them, repeat what they say. Play another five seconds, stop, 
repeat what they say. You understand now? You're using the speaker, listening, watching the speaker, and then repeating what they say. All right? And even if you only practice 5, 10, 15 minutes every day, at least it's something. All right? That's how you learn a language, by using it every day. Every day. Don't stop. And the last one, there are many, many, by the way, but another one is to read books, get a newspaper, magazine, something in English, and read it. Don't try and remember the words. Remember the meanings. Artinya. It's all about Artinya. It's not about Kata. It's not about the words. Learn the meanings first. You learn the meanings first, then the words will come. For example, if you you cannot learn a language with words. If I want to learn Baha's Indonesia, and I'm saying to you, oh, I'm sorry I'm late today. I'm sorry I'm late today. You say, nga apa apa. And now I'm listening to this, and I think, oh, you're saying nga, which means no. And then you're saying apa, which means what? And you're saying apa, which means what? Now I'm interpreting what you said. You're saying no, what, what? That's stupid. Come on. How can you say no, what, what to me? That's stupid. Come on. How can you say that to me? But it's true. You say nga, apa, apa. No, what, what? But what you mean, atinya, it doesn't matter. It's okay. It doesn't matter. I forgive you. You understand what you're saying here? Learn the meanings first and then learn the words. I'll repeat that one more time because in 20 years of teaching, that is number one. That's number one. Okay? Learn the meaning first. Atinya Patama. Atinya Patama. Learn the meaning first, then learn the words. And here's one more tip try and learn five to ten new words every day. All right, five to ten every day. And maybe the last one, love your teachers. Your teachers have a difficult job. It's not easy teaching in Indonesia. The curriculum is not a, not very easy to teach from. It's not. It's an old curriculum. It's very difficult. It's very hard for English teachers. I'm looking at Pat Howdy. I'm looking at Ibu Bhatti. I'm looking at Bo Ija. It's not easy for them not easy for them to teach english why the textbooks are not very good the curriculum how do i know say a phd stiga the indonesian curriculum i'm helping an indonesian student doing a phd into about for nine years the indonesian curriculum i know the indonesian curriculum quite well so i'm saying to you to you the students help your teachers it's hard for them You've got lovely teachers, Pak Heri, by um, Ibu Tungo Biati and Ibu Ija. They they love you. They care about you. They care about their country. They love their country. They want to help the education in this country. Help them. It's not easy for them, so help them. That's it, guys. I'm here. Please feel free to ask me any questions you want. Okay. Thank you. Maestro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, yeah. Pak Heri, Bu Ija or Bu Siti, maybe this time is for our student, I mean the student from the 12 sign one, maybe they want to give a road their question. This is their turn. Hello, Mr. Rod. Hello, who is it? I'm Mrs. Ija. I see you. Oh, it, uh, Ibu Ija, how are you? Likewise, nice to see you too. Yes, how are you today? Are you fine? Good. Okay, thank you so much for your step. How is your learning list? And uh, let me see it. Let me for my student to ask to you about what you have said about how to set your learning list. Okay, anybody to ask to Mr. Rod? Come on. Come 
ngomong Yes, three. Can keep a few questions to Mr. Ron about what Mr. Ron said about I'm about to the first, the first how to step to learn English in every day. Is it correct, Mr. Ron? How to learn English every day. Correct. Yes. How to learn English every day. Come on. Ayo, come on. I uh, oh, try to speak up. Try to speak up. Ah oh, yes, uh, we have infantry. Infantry Agung, go ahead. We have infantry Agung, but there's no sound for him. So I have I have friends from Netherlands, and when when we speaking each other, I have trouble when when we talk without him. So my question is how to understand for our past while we speaking. So you have a problem you have a problem speaking to your friends in the Netherlands, correct? Yes. Exactly. And how do you speak to your friends in Lillian? Do you speak Belanda or do you speak English? I speak English because I can speak Dutch. You have to remember that every country has different accents. British English, American English, European English, like Netherlands, different again, Australian English, New Zealand English, Canadian English. So English, the accents, you have to listen regularly. So if you if to get used to the accent in Netherlands English, um, you have to listen regularly every day. Listen, and your ear will download. Your brain will download the Netherlands accent. Accent A C C E N T. Accent. You know accent. How you sound. How they pronounce. So the only way to understand the British English in Netherlands is listen to the accent regularly, often, right? And then your ear, your ear here will come, will tune, will be used to it, where it be like normal, okay? It's a good question. In, fortunately, in Indonesia, most Indonesians don't have a strong accent when speaking English. That's a good thing. Whereas Chinese, they have a, often have a strong accent. But Indonesians, no, which is a good thing. But it's a good question, infantry. Good question. Oh, okay, students, listen very carefully to me now. This year is 2022. Do, 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 right? 2022. In eight more years. Lapan tahun lagi. In eight more years. It will be 2030. In eight years time, Indonesia will be number four or number five biggest economy in the world. Bigger than Russia, bigger than Germany, bigger than English. Indonesia, number four, number five biggest economy in the world. That's not me. That's the World Bank. Bank Dunia say that. So, my question to you, you the students, who is going to run the country? Who is going to operate the country in eight years? The new Indonesia. Who? You. You today. You are a student today, but tomorrow you are the future. You are the engineer. You are the teacher. You're the imam. You're the scientist. You're the entrepreneur. Right? You're the politician. One of you could be the new, the new Jokowi, the president of Indonesia. Why not? Why shouldn't that happen? So today you are a student, tomorrow you are the future. Tomorrow you are the new Indonesia. And guess what? Indonesia being number four, number five, biggest economy in the world. Thousands of business people all over the world will invest in Indonesia. And Indonesia will be spoken everywhere. English will be spoken everywhere. English will be number two language. Not Jawa, not Sunda, not Samad, none of those languages. 
English will be number two biggest language in Indonesia. After it, Bahasa Indonesia and then Bahasa English. Number two biggest language. And people will speak it everywhere. So, start to become fluent now. Don't wait then, start now. Start today, become fluent. Why? Because the new Indonesia, it's you, right? The past is the old Indonesia. It's old, right? It was corrupt, had many problems. The new Indonesia is a new capital city in Kalimantan, a new Jakarta in Kalimantan, beautiful city, a green city in Kalimantan, the new Indonesia. That's for you. You are the new Indonesia. So learn English now. So when the new Indonesia comes, a big, big economy, you are ready. Okay. That's it. That's my message to your students. Maybe can, maybe can I translate a little, but do you mean okay. to my students? Because oh, I mean that. Sorry, I should have stopped and done it in, in pieces. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, but Mr. Rod said, Indonesia akan menjadi bahasa kedua di Indonesia. Dan kamu adalah new generation and you are Indonesian people. Dan sekarang kita sudah ada di 2000. Indonesia baru. Indonesia baru. Yeah, Indonesia baru. Welcome to the new Indonesia baru. Di mana bahasa Inggris akan menjadi bahasa kedua, is right, Mr. Yeah. Rod? Jadi kalau tidak sekarang, jadi kalau tidak sekarang, kapan lagi mau belajar bahasa Inggris? Kamu adalah yang akan mengisi generasi Indonesia baru. Kita kenal dengan Kalimantan dan sebagainya. I mean like that. In the world today, in the world, economy number one, China. In eight years, economy number one, China. Economy number two, USA, America. Economy number three, Japan or India. Economy number four, India or 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 India or Japan. Economy number five, Indonesia. Yes, your country, number five in the world, the biggest economy. That's a huge economy. Bigger than Russia, bigger than Canada, bigger than Australia. Big economy. You will be the leader of tomorrow. You'll lead be the entrepreneurs of tomorrow. Start today. You're a student today. Learn today. Don't wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow's too late. Indonesia will become the economic Indonesia number fifth or six? Five. Fifth. Five. Five. Oh. Fifth. Indonesia will be the new Ibu, Ibu, uh, Ija. Indonesia will be the new Asian tiger. You know, tiger? Tiger? Indonesia will be the new Asian tiger. Indonesia will menjadi negara ekonomi di antara negara-negara lain yang kelima. Jadi kalau bukan siapa lagi, kalian adalah generasinya di mana bahasa Inggris akan menjadi bahasa kedua setelah Indonesia. In eight so, more years. You must start today. To learn in eight more years. Number five. Eight more years. Five. Number five. Yes. Number five. In eight more years. 2030. 2030, yes. Correct. Many times. What? We can live together with you. Sure. Sure. Why not? For sure. And to the students, to all the students, WhatsApp me, contact me on WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number, number WhatsApp, Kwasan, Kwasan Lapan Lima. Kwasan Lapan Lima, Enam Sembilan Lima, Satu Lapan Torturatus. Lagi. Kwasan Lapan Lima, Enam Sembilan Lima, Satu Lapan Lapan Torturatus. 
And if you don't understand Indonesian, here it is in English. <laughs> oh eight five nine five one double eight seven hundred. That's my WhatsApp. You want to contact me and talk to me? Go ahead. And please subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel. Ah, Nawang, Nawang Ulan, are you with a Yadanti? Okay, go ahead. You have a question. Hello, Pakrod. My name is Nawang. I want to ask, what do you like from Indonesia? Number one in Indonesia, I love, not like, I love in Indonesia are the people. Indonesian people are very warm and friendly. If you make a mistake, salah, they forgive you. It's like that, okay? To me, Indonesian people are very warm, very friendly. So that is the first thing in Indonesia. Number two, if you live in England or America, every day you get quitancy. Every day quitancy. You have a bill for listry, bill for gas, bill the quitancy, quitancy every day. Pussy. Every day you have bill quitancy, 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 quitancy. In the post, from the post. And bring quitancy every day. Indonesia, T-Dak. 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 I can relax here. That's the two things. Number one, Indonesian people, very warm, very friendly. Number two, no bills, no bills, no invoices, no quitancy. All right? Please, pajak, 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 pajak. Almost hard all. Pajak on salary, pajak on shopping, pajak for everything, pajak on your house, pajak on your car. Patrick got everything. Asia, he died. Patrick could tell. The son, the English, Patrick, Lima Pool percent on salary. Salary, Patrick, Lima Pool percent. Whoa, Patrick. Mahal, expensive. Indonesia, Mora. <laughs> Indonesia is cheap, not expensive. Good question, Nawang. What do you think? What do you think about your country? What do you love about your country? Do you love your country, Nawang? Yes. 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 And Asli Jamana. What do you think? Asli Jamana. Um, I'm from Silatap. Oh, you're from Silatap. Very good. Do you ever go to Do you ever go to Jogja? You know Jogja. Yeah. I live in Jogja, Satu Tahun. I say tinggal di Jogja, jalan kalerang sepulu. Jogja, saya tinggal. Mungkin dua puluh tahun yang lalu. I lived in Jogja twenty years ago. In Jogja. I like Jogja and the mountain, Gunung. Um, um, thank you for the question. Good question, thank you. Country again, wow. Come on, country. If I talk to Pule, without Ramarwell. Without what? Ramarwell. Ramarwell. Without? Without what? The last word I cannot hear. I can, can I come to Pule without the last word I don't hear? Without using grammar well. Grammar, grammar, grammar. Oh, without using good grammar. That's a very good question. Well, the beginning um, is a good question. So, what you, if I tree, if your grammar is not good, right? Look, yes. Try Try to communicate what you mean. The meaning, atinya, patama, atinya. So, for example, you want to ask, hey, how are you? Right? Apakaba. You could say, use your body. Like this. Apakaba, apakaba, how are you? How are you? Right? Use your body, use your body, and speak slowly. Speak slowly. Right? 
try to uh, stay on the meat. Don't worry about it. Words. And the meanings first. Very, very important. Okay, that's the key. Meanings first, words second. And between American and British accent. What? Like Sorry, you said again. Between American and British accent, what is the most important accent to use it? <laughs> the most important is this one. This one. I'm just kidding. Come on. Of course, I'm British. I think the British is better. I have I have videos. I have like six videos about different British accent, British English, and American English. All right, watch the videos. It tells you about British and American, the difference. All right? Yes. You have to remember, people came and 400 years ago. They went from England to America, 400 years ago. So the new Americans. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome, for summer. Um, Ashi Infantry, here's, a, here's another tip. Make it fun in your school. You choose one day in the school, one day, like a Friday, like a Monday, like a Wednesday, and one hour. Choose a day in your school, select a day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and choose an hour, like English hour, okay? And everybody has to speak English. It's fun. It's lot. It's really funny. You'll enjoy it. One hour a week. Hey, come on. Ibu Biati, what do you think? One hour a week, the whole school speaks English. What do you think? Okay, in my opinion, if we want to be fluent in English, we must practice English every day in all our activities. Yes, correct. But I'm just saying for the whole school, even the janitor, even the driver, even the security guard, everybody, teachers, students, staff, everybody, they have one hour a week, they speak English. One hour a week, they speak English. That's a great idea, sir. Yes, fun. Make it one hour a week, maybe a Friday. At one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, everybody speak English in the school. It's fun. Okay, we will do that. If you forget, you have to do 20 push ups. You know, push up? <laughs> push up, right? Push up. 20 push up if you forget. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we will do it, sir. <laughs> <laughs> What about Fisha Nofiana? Come on, she wants to say something. Have you got a question? Yes, do Fisha. Come on, Ayo. Ayo, Fisha. Let's go. Thank you, Springs the Rod. Huh? Oh, no, full. No, full. Yeah, go for it. Let's hit what you have a question. Please. What is your view or your response after meeting and chatting with Indonesian citizens? Oh, okay. My response is that when I meet Indonesian citizens, uh, one of the problems when you meet uh, people learning English is the accent. While in Indonesia, the accent is neutral, it's good. In China, very strong accents. In Thailand, very strong accent. Uh, and other countries, not easy to hear. The English is not good because the accent is very strong. But Indonesia, most Indonesians speak like you. Not for your English, you have no accent. Your accent is neutral. That's good. So I can understand you. What about Anton? What about Anton Nadi? No, he's too shy. Okay. Putri Pamata, let's go, Ayo. Take Putri, take your mask off so I can hear you. Please, Pelican. 
Hello, Sarawat. Can you pull your mask on so I can? Yeah, thank. Okay. Hello, Mr. Rose. Good morning. How to enhance our ability to pronounce English well? Ah, oh, very good question. That's a good question, Puri. Focus on the consonants. Don't worry about the vowels. The vowels? A, E, I, O, U. Don't worry. Vowels, very important. B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, M, N. Not O, no, not O. P, Q, R, S, T, not U. V, W, X, Y, Z. Consonants are the most important to pronounce. Don't worry about A, E, I, O, U. Not important. What is important are the consonants. Very good question. Very good question. Mahadalina, Inda, have a question. So the girls are braver than the boys. Come on. Uh, Mahadalina, go. Please, to the can. Okay. Hello, Mr. Rod. Hello. How are you? I'm great. And you have a lovely, you have a very good voice. Clear, excellent voice. So easy to hear you. Go. One more time. One more. Satu lagi, please, to the can. Okay. In speaking English, when sold, uh, get a uh, used to it. Kill hot, or when I was a teenager. Oh, childhood. Ch oh, childhood. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um. Yeah. You mean Angita? Uh, sorry, who was that? It was okay. Um, it was childhood. It's easier in a childhood. We're very, very young, like a baby. Three, four, five, six. It's much easier. So, if you have brothers and sisters, start now. The younger, the better to learn English. Start young. The younger, the better. It's good to learn as English when you're a teenager. It's better when you're even younger. So, if you have addict, young sister, younger brother, maybe six, seven, eight, nine, start now. The younger, the faster they learn. It's a good question. Pamelia Riska, what about you? I want to ask about how to overcome being lazy and or while learning English. <laughs> Good question. Nice question, Amelia. Yes, how to overcome malast, right? Being lazy. Oh, okay. Well, what I used to do is before you go to sleep, Tito, Tito, before you go to sleep, write down three things you're going to talk about the next day in English. Three topic. Write it down. Write it down in a book, like agenda or something in a book. Write down three things. Yeah, topic. Maybe you want to write down, oh, I want to say, I want to ask my friend Apagaba, how are you? I want to ask Tingle Demana, where do you live? I want to ask Asli Demana, where are you from? So maybe write down what you want to speak about tomorrow. Then go to sleep. When you wake up, you read in your book, your agenda. Oh, okay. And then you have to you practice. So one way to overcome laziness, being malu. No, no. What is laziness? It's uh, not malu, it's shyness. Uh, malas, malas, right? Malas, laziness. One way to overcome malas, being lazy, the night before, malam, before you sleep, write it in a piece of paper, write it in a book, write down three things, three things you want to do, write it in English, all right? When you wake up in the morning, okay, you say, you say those things. Maybe five minutes is enough, it's good. Good question, good question. 
Thank you for your question, Hamida. Okay, Mr. Rod. Uh, I think that the nice meeting for us, Mr. Rod. Thank you so much for your time today. Sama -sama. Uh, we need we need we need to learn anymore how to how to give a spirit for my student, especially how to speak up. Speak think, for the first time. Think of your future. Don't think about today. Think about the new Indonesia. In the new Indonesia, English should be everywhere, all over Indonesia. In the Kampung, in the city, in the town, English will be everywhere in eight years' time. That's your motivation. That's how you drive your students. Come on, guys. You're part of the new Indonesia. You're the new teacher, the new engineer, the new scientist, the new imam, the new entrepreneur. You want to make money in the new Indonesia? You need to be fluent in English. Look at technology. All technology is in English. It's all in English. You want to have benefit from new technology? It's all in English. Start today. Get fluent today. Not tomorrow. Today. Hari ini. Start. Like, yes. like Hamida said, don't be lazy. Hamida said not to be lazy. That's true. Start today. Mulia hari ini. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow to that. Tomorrow is all tomorrow. So tomorrow comes, Harry Rebel, oh, oh, tomorrow lagi. Harry Kamis, the tank, oh, do that. Harry Juma come, oh, Harry, Harry Sabto, I will learn. I will start, I will start Harry Sabto. Every day is always tomorrow. No good, start today. Mulai yes. hari ini. Mulai hari ini, yeah, Mr. But, but I have to say, I have to say, I'm so sorry for this occasion. I mean that, thank you so much for your time, but I have to say that the time is up for yes, today. The time is up. Yes, That's the, time yes is up. the time is up. Because we say, we, say uh, we, are, we are done for today. We are done for today. The time is up. And to you, the three teachers, thank you so much. Uh, Pak Heri, Ibu Tung Biati, and Ibu Ija, thank you so much. And to you, the students again, love your teacher, help your teacher, uh, care about your teacher. Even though they, they care about you, care about them. They need you too, right? It's not a one way street, it's a two way street. Ibu Ija, maybe you can translate that, please. Yeah. Uh, translate to my students yes yeah uh, waktunya sudah habis untuk live to meeting kita dengan Pak Rod dan seperti yang kita sudah dengar langsung dari native speaker kita harus siap menghadapi new Indonesia seperti kita ketahui Indonesia menjadi ekonomik Indonesia di another countries kita menjadi kelima kalau enggak si enggak kalian you are generation you are Indonesia uh, siapa lagi jadi mulai hari ini adalah belajar hari ini tidak besok tapi hari ini ya yeah. bisa mulai dengan ngomong di your bed your bedroom when you are take about maybe Yeah, bisa dengan you lovely cat, for example, and you can see the trans program, especially about the Western film. I mean, and you please listen carefully about the non pronunciation, and you try to deliver in your mind. Yeah. Uh, so start today to be confident for the first time to speak English well. Start today. Like that, Mr. Rod? Yes, yeah, start today, become part of the new Indonesia. Start today. Today start is today, a big yes. Indonesia, the new Indonesia. Indonesia new Baru. Indonesia. Yes. Yeah, Indonesia Baru. And we are the fit with another countries, right? Mr. Rod? 
Yes. Ya, kita menjadi lima di antara negara-negara lain. Especially Indonesia, right? Correct. Betul. Ya. Oke, okay, uh, maybe we can continue for the next occasion. How about that, Mr. Rod? Yes, watch to please ask all the students subscribe and watch two more videos. All right, two more videos. Subscribe and watch two more videos, and then send the answers to parkgururod at gmail dot com. Parkgururod at gmail dot com. Send answers. Yes, of course. And please don't forget uh, to subscribe. Yes, we did. And, and also, yesterday. And, and also, can you send this video? When you finished, send the video to us, and we will post. We will edit and put uh, on on Park Guru Rod. Promote it. We'll promote your school. Okay. Yes, of course. And I will put the names of three of you: Park Park Harry, Ibu Biati, and and Bo Ija. I will put your name on the video. It will be on the video in Park. Okay. Thank you, Park Rod. Sama sama. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.